What a, what a, what a flip-flop in temperatures for yeah. Texas. You know, they had temperatures that were running, you know, 50, almost 60 degrees colder than average. Now they're back to about 70. And what's interesting, that air mass in Texas is going to be the same air mass filtering into our area that's going to make our temperatures a little bit more mild out there for the next few days. So currently, my picture behind me is going to show you that the clouds are, yeah, they're there, but starting to break up. So I'm going to call it still a mainly cloudy sky, but I'm optimistic that they break up a bit more during the overnight hours and you'll see more sunshine for your day tomorrow. 44 right now, high temp was 45. Your low was 36. Well, looking at our day tomorrow, it's a milder day. No, it's not dramatic. We're not bumping it up by 20 degrees, but maybe a five degree bump for tomorrow. The difference is going to be this. You get to see, so you get to see some more sunshine out there. Overall, it's the pick of the week, and that mild air mass is coming in from the southwest. Thank you, the state of Texas. Maybe five to 15 miles per hour or so. What we have currently, uh, <laughs> look at this. We actually had a little bit of snowflake activity out there. Uh, just north of Ulster County. A little bit came into Ulster County, but look at that. Check on that little icon there. Halcott Center in Greene County, very close to Bel Air Ski Resort, picked up an inch, an inch, a walloping inch of fresh snow for the ski resort. Uh, so enjoy that, I guess. The bigger picture is going to look like this. You could see a little 10% chance for a raindrop tomorrow, but the bigger story is going to be the state of Texas with that red color. That's the flow coming into our area. We will have temperatures that are going to be above average tomorrow by about 5 to 10 degrees above average. We're going to go for 50 degrees on the nose. And right through the weekend, the temperatures are going to be hovering a bit above average for this time of the year. Partly sunny skies through Friday, not for Saturday. Saturday looks like rain returns to the area. Now, it's not heavy rain, but it does look like it's pesky. It looks like it wants to stick around on again, off again, on again, off again for your day on Saturday, maybe even a little bit into Sunday as well. I'll show you how I see it here on my seven-day forecast. 50 degrees, we talked about that tomorrow. That's almost like a... Like, like, uh, I don't know, like an emotional number. People feel better about seeing a 50 as opposed to a 49. So I'm going to give you the 50 for Wednesday. It's a partly sunny sky. Thursday, you're 46. So a very similar day there. Friday, you're 43. And that's exactly where you should be as far as an average high temperature for this time of the year. Kind of partly sunny, but more clouds fill in late Friday. And then Saturday, rain is likely, again, sort of on again, off again. I'll keep an eye on that for you. If it was to come in, I'll tell you this much, if that rain for Saturday was to come in really early, Early on Saturday, there could be a couple of flakes out there, or if it came in very late on Saturday into early Sunday morning, maybe a couple of flakes, just possibly, but for the most part, it's looking like rain. It could linger into Sunday a bit. Monday, you're 48 and 41 by the time you get to Tuesday, so I don't see any 30s up there for high temperatures. We are in the 40s or the 50s for the next seven days in New York City. Guys? Okay, Lonnie, thank you. Just